So let's go. Let's go fly. All right. <laughs> Good day to go fly. Beautiful. And yep. then we are coming back. So, uh, what do we want to talk about today? About viruses. Let's do it. Yeah. You know why? <laughs> why? About 8% of that DNA of yours is viral. 8% is a lot. More than 100,000 viral elements. So what does it mean? After your opinion. So everything is viruses then? No, no, no. It means that they have participated in our formation. So, you know, we are not one entity. We are a mosaic. A human being is not just one thing. That's something that people probably don't know. And we are part of about 8% viral of our DNA. We are also bacterial. They are all our ancestors. I think that will be something interesting to talk about. So we can read Harris's DNA. Now, how do how can we read it? You know, music. Music has seven notes, right? With seven notes, we have music. How about English? How many letters we have for English? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Now, how about life? Life is using four four letters. How about your computer? Two binary. Absolutely, your computer is binary. It's using two yeah. letters. It makes so many. But what about the like? What are the four? life has four? What is what, what are the is four? A for adenine, A, G for guanine, C for cytosine, and T for timing. It's using these four letters. So A, G, and C, and T. Now these letters are next to each other, and they are going to make your genes. And you have about twenty-five thousand genes. Okay, so that's how we get the genes. So yeah. it's a it's a combination of just four. Elements. Different combination. Now, we realize that about 8% of that is viral. We have learned to hate viruses. We have learned to hate bacteria. Not realizing that they are our best friends. They are our best friends. Some of them are nasty. But they are our best friends. Actually, we would not be here without viruses. Let me give you an example, for example. Why a mother doesn't reject the baby? After all, a part of the baby is from a foreigner, is from a, another person, right? right? So the mother has to reject it. Why the mother doesn't reject it? Uh, because of the viruses, what happens, we have a part of viral expression is going to happen at that time, which is going to protect the, um, that newborn cell, right? From the immune system, from mother's immune system, is going to protect it. Life is started with bacteria. 
right on earth for millions of years we had nothing but bacteria but then something very strange happened which is one cell ate another cell but didn't digest it okay it's fascinating imagine for millions of years you have only bacteria living one cell they have only one cell right so one bacteria ate another one but didn't digest it didn't destroy it we call it endosymbiosis. They started to live together. Okay. That's a huge, huge phenomenon. It's unbelievable how important it is. You would not be here if that, didn't if that digestion had happened. <laughs> if that digestion had happened as usual, you would not be here today. Now, uh, that cell, that collaboration between the two cells, still is within you. They're your ancestors. So if I go into you, that cell is still in you and is making ATP, adenosine triphosphate, fuel. What about the negative elements of virus or the... Some of them, some of them. But we cannot forget all the good ones and we cannot forget the fact that we are viruses of ourselves. We are bacteria, we are mosaic, we are system. We are not just one thing. They came together. They came together and that's you. Fascinating. This is your entry to the world.